Welcome to Gazroth Tutorials. I'm Gazroth, and today we're going to look at lists. Lists are very useful. They allow you to put items that are the same variable type into a numbered list, kind of like if you were to write down a grocery list, for instance. You know, you got your milk, your eggs, whatever. And we're going to jump in, and I'm going to show you my script. And we're just going to look at the variables for right now. I have an index which is needed for this script. I will show you here in a little bit. We have an asset list, string list, color list, rotation list, vector list, player list, object list, boolean list, and number list. Now notice how some of these have triangles next to them. We can add to them by ourselves. And notice how it starts with a zero. All lists start with a zero. And we can add multiple and then it goes up from there. Notice how asset, player, and object list do not have this mark here. It's because we cannot add them through this interface here. We have to add them via script. So even if I were to, say, attach the script to this object, the only thing that shows up is my index number variable, which is not a list. No list will show up on here. You have to add them through your script. We're going to scroll all the way up. I'm going to go over this one step at a time. This is just to showcase all the different code blocks that a list has. The only place that you're going to find any code blocks relating to lists is under operators. You scroll all the way down to the bottom and here we have lists. We have length of list. We can add to a list. We can add a value at a certain index in the list. We can set the value of an item already in the list based off index. We can remove an item from a list at index. We can remove an item from a list by passing the item. We can clear the entire list. We can get an item from a list by passing in a variable. We can get an item from a list by passing in an index. And we can check to see if a list contains an item, this will return true or false. So when the world is entered by the player, we're going to set the index to zero. We're going to add the player to the player list. We're going to get the length of the list. We're going to get the index of the player in that list. And then we're going to check to see if player list contains player. And then we're going to add some numbers. We're going to add the value of one at index one to the number list. We're going to do that again for 2, add 2, and then we're going to add 0 at index of 3. Then we're going to print every number in this list, and we're going to iterate through using while. While index is less than the length of the number list, which should be 4 since our index is 3, then we're going to get the item at index from that list, and then we're going to set our index to index plus 1 and it's going to iterate again and again and again until this is no longer true. And we're going to fix the number list. This is because index three should not be zero, it should be three. And then we're going to send it to self with an index minus one because we've added one again. So our index will now be four instead of three. Now we're going to set the value of three at index, which is three in the number list. And then we're going to print that out to make sure it ran properly. And then we're going to send remove number to self with index. So we're going to remove an item at index from number list. So remove item from number list. Now we're using get item from number list. And the item we're getting is index minus one. And then we're going to clear the rest of the list out and we're going to print again. And that will showcase every code block that there is for lists that I have access to. I'll run it. Our first debug print is length of player list plus length of player list as string. So it says our length of player list equals one because we have added one player to the list. And now we're going to print index of player plus the index of player in player list and it says the index of player is zero because it is the first one in the list. Now we're printing does the list contain 
player. And then it says plus player list contains player as string. And then it's asking, does list contain player? True. The player is in the list, so it returns true. It does its add numbers. And now we go to print number list, and now it says while index is less than length of numbers, it's going to print the item index. And if we go down, item at index zero is zero. Item at index one is one. Item at index two is two. Item at index three is zero. And then it, we're going to send fixed number list. We're setting three to the index that we passed, and then we're printing out the index. So if we scroll down, item at index three is three. And then we're going to remove items, and we're going to get the length of the number list. So length of number list is four, because we have zero, one, two, three, which is four. And then we're going to remove item at index index from number list and then print the length again. So now our length is three. And now we're going to remove the item from the list and print. Now our length of our number list is two. And then we're going to clear the rest. So anything that is in this list is getting cleared out. And printing, and then it says the length of our number list is zero. Assets are a little different because they don't already exist in the game. For instance, if I were to go in here and go to my assets, my folder, I have I have some assets here. But in order to use their variable, you need to bring in this here, but I, I can't add it. So the thing you need to do is you need to create another variable. This is where it gets a little wonky. So if I just wanted to create an asset. Now I can go in here and I can place my asset on the script. And then I would have to add that asset to my asset list. There is no other way that I know of or I have access to that allows you to add an, an asset to a list. That is all I have for lists. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about what I have covered today, please let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned something, please hit that like button, subscribe, because there will be plenty more videos to come. A special shout out to Craig Hill for requesting this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it covered what you were looking for. And uh, have a good one.